In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. So a very warm welcome as we gather to celebrate this Mass um, today. If you're wondering where we are today, we're celebrating Mass in my oratory in St Basil's Presbytery. So you're very, very welcome. And we're celebrating this Mass today in honour of Our Lady of Lourdes. Now, just before we begin, just to let you know that I spoke to Father Bill um, yesterday, Thursday afternoon, and he sounds on very good form indeed. He does have COVID-19 and he is in hospital where he will receive the best care and he does ask for our prayers. However, he did ask me to mention to everyone that as May is the month of Mary, we may be interested to learn that every afternoon at two o'clock UK time, the Rosary is live streamed from the Grotto in Lourdes. All you need to do is Google Lourdes Live and you'll find it. So thanks to Father Bill for that information and maybe we can pray for him as we participate in the Rosary from Lourdes each day during this month of May. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh, the splendour of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of the Immaculate Mother of God, Our Lady of Lourdes, may with the help of her intercession rise up from our iniquities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one can come to the Father except through me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still, and trust in me. There are many rooms in my Father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. I am going now to prepare a place for you, and after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am, you may be too. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, 
and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You may have noticed that today um, is a bank holiday. Now, normally, on this first bank holiday in May, St Wilfrid's Parish Lourdes Group organises a sponsored walk, followed by Mass in St Joseph's Church in Penketh. It's an opportunity for us to be a bit more focused on the Archdiocesan pilgrimage to Lourdes, that many people from our parish participate in. This year, however, as we know, none of us will be going to Lourdes as the pilgrimage has been cancelled, and that makes us feel very sad. But I would still like us to reflect today on our experience of the Lourdes pilgrimage. Some have been with the parish group, others with different groups, some have gone independently, and many others as part of the Archdiocesan Youth Pilgrimage. Some young people from our parish were preparing to go to Lourdes for the first time in their lives this year, and I know how disappointed they are, but hopefully we can all be there next year. I was 16 the first time I went to Lourdes, and it had a profound effect on me. I loved working with the sick pilgrims and making new friends, but also being able to find some peace and quiet for prayer and reflection. Maybe we can reflect on the friends that we have made and the people we have met in Lourdes over the years and thank Our Lady for them today. We remember the times of prayer and reflection, the ways that God has spoken to us and helped us and encouraged us. We remember the masses and the processions, the anointing of the sick and the Blessed Sacrament procession. Maybe we even remember the sing-alongs, the hot weather, the torrential downpours and the amazing ice creams. But above all, we remember how our Archdiocese comes together in Lourdes. Young people, elderly people, the healthy and the sick, called by Our Lady to come ever closer to Jesus, her Son. Our Lady of Lourdes, pray for us. Saint Bernadette, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, our Lady of Lourdes, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless and glorify your name in veneration of the Blessed Ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, who is our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, Join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Malcolm our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Wilfred and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy 
that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. So although we're not able to go to Lourdes as an archdiocese this year, hopefully during this month of May, we will be able to reflect, maybe look at the um, live streaming from Lourdes, which Father Bill has recommended, so that at least we can be in Lourdes in spirit. And then hopefully next year, then we'll all be able to go when we're all back to normal. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.